don't deny it, yeah. You don't want to miss it. Got the dopest guess and we kick it. Stay lit like the night before Christmas. Tony and Duke, best in the business. Watch him get it. Go to YouTube. Search out being next radio. The Lit Network. Entertainment guarantee. Have you laughing to you? Look how we lit. That right we lit. You know we lit. We lit, we lit, we lit. Tony and Duke stay lit. Turn it up, they lit. Start the show, they lit. Yeah, this is Duke Des doing the Lit Network. It's your girl, Tony Dominique, the one and only the celebrity ATL. I don't have no special handle. It's just Duke Des doing on every social media platform. Well, you know, I was, you know, in a little a group of people and we all had nicknames. And, and you so a celebrity? I was a celebrity because I was just like all extra. What's the other? The give time. us like the other two or three names. What's the other nickname that had in that group? I mean, they're like traditional nickname. You always got like a diva in there. You always got, you know, just traditional nicknames all over. Okay. That's what's up. Shout out to uh, her crew with all the nicknames. <laughs> so y'all don't hang out no more? Um, Everybody grown, got kids, got shit. No, the, the the crew is still the crew. It's out there. It's living. It's thriving. It's doing its thing. I just, don't, I'm not as active as I used to be. Do y'all have to pay membership dues? You do have to pay your membership. That sounds like a biker's club. So, so that it means is. it was a lot of bike dick slinging. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you listen, that's one thing I don't play. Don't pull up on me on a bike, cuz. I don't oh, care if bike? I got to go in this direction. I'm busting the left. My girl ain't about to ride past you. You looking cool. You give her the eye. Like, this is what you need to be on back of this. You, you all ain't in gonna there. You going to get on the back of no bike? Man, listen, first thing, I don't ride bikes, okay? That's one thing that I just don't, I'm not part of that cool club. I'm very cool in a lot of areas. Bike's not one of them. Are you like, that's just not your thing? No, no, no. Like, if like, I could go to a salt flat and not you? have to drive around and ride around other people that's driving you on the good. road, I'd ride a bike. If it was like National Ride Your like Bike you, Day But you look only, real cool and like a little Harley. You know, it's like no, a I'm, saying, like, I'm not scared of the bike. I just don't respect the, the fact the way that people drive and ride around bikes. Oh, people okay. drive crazy. So it's they a safety thing. Yeah, and I've seen too okay. many people really get their ass toe off the frame on bikes. And I just feel like. I've seen a lot of people. Know, my dad used to ride a bike. Yeah. He fell off, broke his leg. My cousin, I saw people. him toe. I'm real talking about, I can see him. I'm like, I ain't going to go Tiger. He There's on the way obviously here. some people, you know, out and about in the community, yeah. the bikers club community, that have lost their life on a bike. So yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, one of my old clients, uh, he wound up shaving his own head or whatever, but one of my old clients wound up um, making a left, turn into the Kroger's in a car instead of... There's uh, no S on Kroger. Kroger. Okay, you're right about that. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, it wasn't even his fault. He did everything he could do. He had a helmet on and everything, but the impact was just too much for him. Because it's, it's something hitting you. It's a whole car hitting your body. Like, there's no... no the impact of the car, it. that's one thing. You coming up and then hitting the pavement, that's a whole other thing. There's nothing around you. His to whole, protect yourself. He has so much internal bleeding. He had hemorrhaging. You know, he started getting swelling on the brain. He was just a lot, man. It's just, if I've wrecked a couple cars, no majors, but I've just bumped that little bump. If you're on a bike, it in it, 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 it just like that. Right, especially it hit your back tire. You've been flew off. And then off. you hit a slick. You might hit a slick, and that's where oil and water mix. You might have a car that was driving a certain amount of ways and it has, you know, an oil leak issue. If it was, you know, raining earlier, it's a lot of just too many different things. Then when it start raining, you know, excessively, you can't ride the motherfucker. So if you stuck somewhere, now you got to go pull up under overpass. I don't want to be that guy. You know what I mean? I don't. I'm going to be in a cool sports car. Super fucking cool. You know, super I don't fucking want, fast. If I ever got a bike, I don't want a, a bike. I want like one of those like three wheelers. Nah, I do want the that. Little sprinters. But I'm in a car. I'm in a shell. I'm in something. I mean, it's still like you, it's still open. Well, like, it is open, but the way they've designed it. I want one of those because that community is getting a lot, lot well, of. It's considered a bike. It's considered a bike. Yeah, anything three wheels or less, you got to get your well, motorcycle. Well, anything, you anything you need to wear a helmet for. And with that, you have to have a helmet because it doesn't have a true cage to it. But the way they design it, if it rolls over, it has so much stuff that kind of goes a little bit over your head, you'll slightly be covered, but are not enough. So anything you need to wear a helmet for is considered a bike. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm so secure. I might wear a helmet I in a car. I think, I think we should get a lit network one. Bike? I actually, I was three watching wheel, something on three Netflix. Three-wheel motion. I was watching, yeah. you tell me it's the T-Rex or the T-Rex. I was watching something on uh, Netflix. It's called Dropping Cash. And them cats be going, you know, ballers and different people that's, you know. I mean, that Atlanta, it's a it's a whole Atlanta community it's, that go out and they, they show and they have it. Like I think they're supposed. super cool. Like, I like to go to the the, the, the bike clubs and, the, and the, you know, the, the car shows and different things like that. I like to watch it. And I'm, you know, I like to drag race. I'm big on drag. I grew up doing it with my dad and my uncles. 
So I, I like fast cars, but bikes, unless I'm on a stretch where it's just me, the bike, and my opponent or whatnot, I'm really not interested in riding around the bike. I think it's super free. I get it. You know what I mean? But I'd rather not, you know. Okay. I'm just not that thugged out. You know what I mean? I see. He ain't riding no bike, shouter, so don't be trying to holler at him if you a bike rider. Nah, and if you a bike rider, don't pull up on me if I got a young lady in the passenger seat. You know what I'm saying? You trying to stunt on me with your new bike, with your 1200 Habusa, and you see me in my Honda Accord V4. Next time, I'm going to go and get some tinted <laughs> windows so you can stay out of our business. That's that real person. That was yeah, so I don't be liking it because then when they get next to you, why are you revving up your engine? You ain't even going nowhere. You name, 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 name. I'm like, oh, this nigga here trying to take that's my girl. That's how it sounds to you. He trying to take. Nim. All I hear is come over here, girl. Girl, you need to come over here. So that's the SOS code? Yeah, like, what, what are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? We on Jimmy Carter at the light in, 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 in uh, Satellite in Singleton, and you just name, 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 name. You ain't even, you at the light, nigga. Okay, cool. I see what you're doing. Nim, nim, nim. Nah. <laughs> I'm not with it. I don't and want them around. On that note, we're going to play the first song. <laughs> like with his Nim Nim Nim. We're going to Nim Nim to No Cap by being, I don't know if his name is B-N-Y-C-E, a or I'm going to need a pronunciation when you send you. Be nice. It might be be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Is that's, a, that's a slang when you, when you drop the I nice. at the Y. Okay. It makes it masculine. So you're really not nice. You're really gangster okay. with it, but it's nice. Well, we'll I don't go know. With be it's nice like when bad is it? good, good is bad. I don't know. We'll go with Shout out to that guy. We lit. We're going to get him an interview one day.
And we back, no cap. Shout out to Be Nice. What? <laughs> Why can't you say? Because it went out. I hate you say. It went out in my, in, in my headpiece. Just because you, know? you can't hit the work, sit here. Oh, don't, okay. be, don't be out here looking crazy. I hurt myself. <laughs> abusing Holds and harm upon myself. Like, who does it? Like He's like, I can't. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> slapping his stuff. Y'all crazy. Who raised y'all people? <laughs> Gonna be all right. But, uh, nah, that, that was lit though. I like that. That was a good vibe. Yeah. And y'all continue to send um send your music out, you know, to the lit work, the lit. If network you send your music to us, to the t- community page, please one put your name on your song. Don't send me no song called AB one two nine nine three six seven four three seven. I don't, don't do know that. what I don't know what that is. Also. If you send it through a friend of a friend of a friend, name the artist. Don't have Eric, John, Michael, Kerry, Steven, and Rave J on there, and we don't know which one is the actual artist. That's not that's not hitting. We ain't, we ain't trying to do that. So I'm going to need y'all to figure this out. Come on now. If you want to be professional, if you want your songs played, if you like, dang, they don't never, I done sent my song about nine months ago. They ain't never played it. Well, because we don't even know who it is or what you're doing. We don't, we don't know what's going on. We don't know nothing, so make it easy for our engineer. And don't send us your YouTube link. I'm having yeah. a little moment. Don't send us your YouTube link, your Spotify. This is a radio station. We are not going to be loading through the commercials trying to play your song. We yeah, probably. please don't do that. Uh, listen to the directions. You know, um, we've been operating for a little bit over a year now. Uh, we kind of getting the gist of, you know, how we want to do things. Just listen to the directions. Read the directions. Um I don't know what it is about people. I post flyers. It's there. I do it myself even sometimes. And people are like, yo, what's the address or what time is it? And I'm like, it's on the flyer. You know what I'm saying? So just Reading is fundamental. Reading is fundamental. That's my point. And whatever, whatever direction she's giving you to get your music played, we would like you to follow those directions so we can listen to new artists as often as frequent as possible. And if not, we're going to continue to play the hot ones that we already have. So, you know, that's the Lit Network. The lit network at gmail.com and that's network without an O. Uh, with that being said, it's time for the best part of the show, just in case y'all didn't know. Tony's hot tea top is finna hit it with y'all. If there's something hot to talk about, whatever it is, you know that we gon' put it out here on Tony's hot tea topics. Tony's hot tea topics tonight. Tonight. All right, y'all. We got a couple of things that we finna talk about. Just in case y'all didn't know, lovers and losers, it is love season across the gram. It is just too much going on for me. Also, first thing on the list, little mama. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Little mama be in and out, popping in and out, but she wanted to shoot her shot, give a little chance to holler at Meek Mill, y'all. How y'all feel about that? Little mama hollering at me. I, I like it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I feel like we had a time when it is, is a is a woman liberated time. You know, um, shit. Women need to be shooting shots. If you see something you like, don't sit back and wait for it. But the the, the, the T is that Meek Mill, you know, got a little something, something that he ain't really put out on the gram. He ain't made it insta, oh, okay. insta important yet. Okay, so he ain't really so, letting people into his business. He probably right. learned with the Meek, with the Nicki Minaj situation. Like, you keep your I'm business saying? low key. He got a little tender on it. He, you know. But it's all, I think I think that is probably the the way to have success, to keep your business to yourself. I you think know. it really just depends on your level and your mindset. Like you can, everybody can know all your business if you understand what comes with everyone knowing your business, and you have the mindset That's to it. handle that. That was well put. Uh, some people just don't know what comes with that, um, and it's just a lot. You know what I'm saying? If you really not within yourself, some people. I, I really think that a lot of people really truly don't know themselves because they'll sign up for some shit they really right. really not ready for. Yeah, they be like, oh, I want to be famous. I want to be an artist. Yeah. I want to be this. I want to be that. Well. That comes yeah. with no, you can't have no private. Don't be like, oh, give me my personal look, time. Not just you know, that. What about somebody who say, hey, Tony, I want to date you. And you'd be like, you sure about that, bro? And you'd be like, she'd be like, hell yeah. Boy, I like you. Ooh, you tripping. I like, yeah, I be watching your show and shit. And you'd be like, okay, this is the requirement. You'd be like, oh, right. that's nothing. Right, I'm busy. I'm All he heard time. was, I'll give you a shot. He ain't hear none of the other shit. I got. I need you to be ready. I need you to be dressed. I need you to come to production <laughs> to me. I need you to be on the red carpet with me. I need you to spend time. There's times that I'm gonna be in Paris for a week or a month because I might you got a movie. I got. Can you deal with all that? <laughs> and, and that's the future of what your life is going to pretty much be accomplishing of. It's going to be moving around. You never know where this show may go. You never know where God may take you into some right. other places. Latoya Luckett said that same thing. Signing up now, 
you got to be ready for these next 10, 15 years. It's going to be a serious grind. And then not just that. I don't have a lot of downtime, even for myself. Let me be like, oh, first thing they say is you work too much. And I'm not going to continue to receive that from women. I'm just not. I'm just not. I'm not accepting that. I give you. you just need to find somebody you know that's busy, too. So when that's y'all have it. those moments that connect, y'all can, you know, mingle together. That's it. That's but it. I like busy it. women. Busy women are cream of the crop. Right. Y'all can enjoy each other when y'all not, not busy. Because, because when somebody come off, off that grind, they really can appreciate you. Versus somebody that's just always available. Like, they just, they mind is just, too, you're too fucking available. That shit is right. like some childish shit. You're right. You don't mm-hmm. have nothing to do. You you're always nothing concerned to do. about what I'm doing. You ain't got no friends. You ain't got no homies look, you can look, hang out Look, check it out. You got to go to the event at 8. I hit you at 7. So, what's going on? Well, I told you earlier I had to go to this event. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Well, hit me when yeah. you're done. I don't hit you. It's 1130. Damn, you still at the event? Yeah. <laughs> so, what time you leaving? Well, realistically, you could have came. That's true. That's you see true. what I'm saying? You could have been a part of this mix. You you really feeling it, huh? Well, I'm just saying, You're coming ultimately. from a deep place well, on this. No, because I, we I went cut, from I little mom holla at Meek Mill well, all the way down to your memory lane I, of how I, you feel no, about this one. I, I cut, and I, you know, I talked a lot of interest, even for women. And they're just like, man, entrepreneurs have a hard, hard, hard road. Just the entrepreneurship, that journey, and just trying to build and have relationships. It's tough. It ain't easy. It is. Also, you know, some of us get bored easily. But anyway, <laughs> 50, 50 cents. <laughs> you get bored easily? Absolutely. So what do it take for a guy to keep your attention? Like, what do, you, what do they got to do? Um, so the things that, like, make me, like, not really be feeling is, like, one, like you said, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a busy person, not necessarily just only in the entertainment industry, but one, I like my personal time. I like my space to get my mind together, to just be me by myself, individual. Two... I have kids, and I am very active in their life, so I don't be, like, having time. So I need somebody who understands those. I need somebody, like, I like to see if we start making that road and that step. I like to see how you interact with my kids. If my if your interaction with my kids is off, I'm already What's the off. timeline on actually meeting the three amigos? So, honestly, you know, um, since they're teenagers, there really isn't a timeline because I'm mostly always with them. So if you just happen to meet them, like, okay, say I'm out and I, you know, you might live in my circle. You might see me at the grocery store. You see me, you see my kids in most cases. Or in the sense of, hey, my kids Except have a Except this weekend when you were out. Except this at weekend. one music fest <laughs> without the fucking children. Which I told you going into this weekend, you should bring the boys. Eh, and, nope. And she's like, hell nah, I'm trying to be loose. I'm trying I'm to twerk trying on to somebody's turn stories. <laughs> me and somebody's son. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> You know you feeling when that tongue come out. Ah, oh Just yeah. in case okay. you ain't know, but okay. I mean no, like it's, there's no really timeline because I mean I'm I'm very open and honest. My kids are at the moment where they're dating, so they understand or are learning the dating scene. Any one so, of them got like a, a consistent individual that they're hanging out with? Ah, uh, they don't. You know, my son was uh kind of chilling and talking to this girl. For like a little while, he was you know contemplating because you know homecoming coming up, so they trying to scope, figure out who the best right. candidate for that. So he spent um, <laughs> he spent a couple of months, you know, just kind of talking and vibing and chilling. He thought he was like, all right, ma, I think she might she might be okay. I might invite her, only for her to tell him she got a boyfriend. But they was like chilling since the beginning of school. She ain't got no boyfriend. <laughs> she ain't got no boyfriend. So she uh, just unsure and she keeping him at bay right now with the I got a boyfriend. Well, Did he go to another school? Why are you chilling with me all this time? Well, he always like he's like, well, oh well, ma, I don't know why she did that, but I'm finna go holler at somebody else. I gotta, I gotta regroup. So, <laughs> you know what's crazy? It's like yeah, just think about that. Beast. It's like just think about that. You know, I'm, I'm assuming that they still pure right now. You know what I'm saying? They still in their pure form. <laughs> I was tainted at 13. You see what I'm saying? So even in them high school years, if you wasn't like, I, I, you can't, fr- you can't friend zone me. Like I'm not, I'm just not gonna receive that. Like, they're like oh, we, we gonna hang out, we gonna chill. Okay, at some point my fingers gotta get sticky, at least. No, something gotta happen. No. And she like, oh, well, uh, uh-uh. uh. See, I'm gonna know right then and there. I'm gonna put the pressure on you. You gonna let me know if you got a boyfriend? But I can't do that because I got somebody. And I ain't, I ain't that type of girl. And we, we gonna get that off the rip. So if you don't, now okay, cool. You don't got well, nobody. You I know, can wait. If I you don't ain't got know. Nobody. So the thing about these new no age young time. girls, I don't, I don't really know what's going on because like he was like the way she told him, I was like, what? She was like, she kissed me. And then told me she had a boyfriend. Oh, see, they into that. They into that threesome. I'm young. Like, what? They into that young. <laughs> they into, I'm telling you, this generation what gonna is, accept poly, poly, that poly Polyamorous. lifestyle much more than the uh, my generation and generation that came before us. They and just loose. I don't even know, honey. They a bunch of little whores. Who raised them? 
I don't even know. But we're not even going to go there because I don't even, <laughs> it's, it'd be too much in the high schools these days. But anyway, so those who love power, y'all know y'all had a whole big thing. Y'all ain't want Trey Song to sing the song. I don't watch power and y'all better not crucify me because I don't care. Yeah, I don't but, watch it either. Um, those who was like really crucifying Trey Song, somebody said he sound like a Billy Goat. They just wasn't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Well, 50 Cent brought Joe back. Uh, for the last episode, so if y'all watched Power, y'all would have seen that. I'm sure y'all was, you know, at relief because y'all was probably hanging on by the edge of your seat, like, oh, now, well, I now gotta I get did, this intro. I, I did go and listen to it because I, I, I watched the it. first two seasons of Power, and I listened. To it, I was like, mm, okay, I see what people say. I listen. I listened to it. I, I, yeah. I have not seen. I seen maybe ten minutes of the first episode of Power, and I haven't watched it. Now yet. let me ask you this: Why is it that you don't watch Power? It's not necessarily just power. It's really like reality TV dramas over stuff because like, um, I really tried with the Empire thing, and then you know season too. one was like okay, all right, okay, right. that's cool. Season two, eh. same as Power, I, I did, I was on it. Yeah, I'm like season two was kind of like, eh. then it started getting like real just there you go ridiculous right there. The and moment so supposed <laughs> to have died. Listen, bro. Once they started, once I, I, I'm gonna tell you when I was watching um, Empire. I was watching Empire to the scene that the Jesse Smollett guy. Okay. It's not even about the. the but when he had that say, scene on the balcony, and I was like, nah, that's too heavily insinuated. I can't do this. Well, it's not that's necessarily. Fuck, that fucked your spirit up. <laughs> For me, it's not was, the, as you, you know, say, in drug and stuff. Servicing somebody on the balcony. <laughs> and then as the camera panned, you saw him getting up type shit. Like, he's like, all right, shit, I got you straight, you know. That, that, that's not really what make me stop. Yeah. Like, it was, you know, it was, and, and I think that was in the first season or something, right? Episode three. Episode three. Yeah. She not even here. He talking to the he talking to he talking to everybody. Yeah. Anyway, but no, that's not what make me stop. It just the the storyline just starts to get ridiculous. It just gets over exaggerated, and I hate shows that are over exaggerated. Like yes, just be doing power. The moment I think it was the end of season one, where Ghost first thing. I'm trying to ride with it, but Ghost running around assassinate niggas and then going to put a three piece suit on. <laughs> <laughs> right. With cufflinks and then running the club, it just wasn't real to me. I'm a big document, like I watch docs. I watch a big, a, a large amount of document. Uh, Luke, I really want to pause pineapples. I really want to get to my Tony Toppy topic, oh, topics. Okay, go ahead. Um, so um, we got a little beef out here in the city. Just in case y'all didn't know, um, a little beef between uh Ice Cube and uh Byron Davis. Um, Byron put on Twitter. Uh, whatever. His name, whoever. I, I don't really know him. But anyway, somebody told him, um, or he put on Twitter, somebody told me it's another Big Three article talking about me, Ice Cube, the Big Three. I told y'all in the group chat, keep my name out your mouth. If you need me to really address it, I will. Busters and Ice Cube respond back, you got my number. <laughs> don't let the money for you. Ice Cube said, um, you got my number. You ain't got to tweet it out. Holla at me. Because Ice Cube said, don't let the money fool you. I like good. Cube. I'm, I'm, I'm a big, big fan of Cube. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like Cube cold, man. Cube cold. And I'm not even a fan of Cube from the aspect of just music. Like, uh, yeah, music is like, oh, okay, he's cool. He's, you know what I mean? He's he's like a home, wholesome gangster. Like, I don't know yeah. if you could do that. He's like, look, I'm cool. I could be daddy. But, but, uh, but you know what it is? When, I ain't when you, a killer. Don't I push think what it is, when, is you, when you're a real solid individual, people know that. And when you don't move in, when you're trying to be malicious or you're trying to you're not a shady person. You move solid in everything that you do. People know that. Ain't nobody about to be playing with you. They know yeah, what time of day it so, is. Hey, um, if you got some beef, hey, Cube say pull Fry up. Fry that shit. Pull up. Cube steak style. Leave your beef. Like Cardi B said, you better keep that beef at roof riffs or end up toothless. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you're going to be spitting out corn. You ain't going to be eating corn. You're going to be gumming it. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you still left all that corn on the cob. My Ew. grandma would hate you coming out. Let me tell you something, I just went out with someone and we had some wings. This and person, all the meat on the what? <laughs> and she's throwing it away. I'm saying, it's like you only ate one wing collectively it's out of like all this shit. Bites. Like she'll eat it, like she'll hit it, like the drum. Like she'll hit it, bow. You know, you put to go around that thing two, three times. And then you got to get the end. And then you got to get the little cartilage and all that. You got to get all that. Man, she hit it one time, bow, and, and dropped it. Bow. Maybe that was just in front of you. She wanted to be kind of. Oh, she wanted to be cute. She didn't delicate. want to get the vein all in between the right. little bone she, and all. She was oh, like, shit. "Look, we just out chilling. I don't want him to see how I really get down nah, to his wings." I need women that's going. She eat. probably went home and got some more wings. She was like, "Oh, a heifer hungry." Yes, yes. <laughs> do y'all do that? Do y'all go out and eat a little bit and then? I don't. Have you ever but done there that? are women that do. You, yeah. you never do that. Uh -uh. You know, I mean, you gonna eat. 
I need you to see how I eat so I can make sure do that you, you can pre-eat? Me. Do you pre-eat before you go out to eat? Just so uh, you don't eat a lot? No, it depends. Like, I pre-eat for events. I'm hungry. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I pre-eat. Right, yeah. I pre-eat for events because I never know what they're going to have. Right. But if we going out to eat and I know what the restaurant is, I know the menu already before I get there. Because you I look up the menu. Oh. I done Googled it. You know what's crazy? I, I, I know I my never, options. I, like, I never, I never, I'm, I'm not that person. Like, I, I make mm-hmm. the reservations or I know where I'm going. I go there. I don't know about the menu. No, I just I know the place the look nice, and I like it. Somebody I want to sit, and I want to, you know, enjoy this ambience. You know what I'm saying? I check the menu, see what they got, see if I'm gonna like the food, see what people saying about it. Now we talking I about that. Give me, give, give me a restaurant that you that you've been to late that you, you you're fond of. That I've been to lately. Mm-hmm. Um, I like Crab Queens. I went to Crab Queens. I've been there twice. They was they was good. I had the fried crab legs one time. It was, um, I don't know if I would eat fried crab legs again because it kind of like toughens the shell and makes it a little yeah. harder for you to like really vibe with it. Um, also, y'all know I like seafood, so shout out to Cracking Crabs, my homeboy, Mike Cook. He is out there um, doing his thing, working on getting his food truck, but you know what I'm saying? He out there in Tucker and his food is amazing. Whatever magic god sauce he put on them crab legs <laughs> it's good. is banging. Uh, and pretty much, I mean, that's it. I did go try out the Blacksican, and I can't say that it's my favorite restaurant, but for a vegan dish, it was all right. Okay. So. That's cool. I had somebody, um, yesterday, was they, uh, well, Saturday was the birthday, so yesterday they went to, uh, they say it was right next to Slutty Vegan. It was a place right next to Slutty Vegan or something like that. I forgot the name of what she was telling me, but she, when she told me she ate, she was like, man, it's delicious. I don't know. So I'm a big it's Italian fan. I love Italian food. You know what I'm saying? I could see that. Yeah. Oh, um, that sounds like shit. <laughs> also, I don't know why. I don't know why. Also, Nicki Minaj announced her retirement, y'all. She said, look, she's trying to have a family. She's trying to be booed up. She ain't really trying to entertain y'all right now. She's trying to entertain her future hubby. That's a setup for an album. The album you coming out next, by, by the spring. You know, I don't think it's <laughs> going to be by hit? the spring. I think she's going to put like a Beyonce movie. You know how Beyonce sit by down for year? two years. Oh. She sit down. She, she sit down. She relax. She don't do nothing. About a good year, two years, and then round tax time, she be like, oh, "Wow, Beyonce, oh, back. yeah, she know how to do it." Beyonce <laughs> said, "I'm gonna hit y'all when y'all got y'all most." So yeah, so I'm hit you at the top of the year around February, March. Right. My concert ain't gonna be the September, but my hey, it's gonna be yeah. announced. So in you January. can so so you can go ahead and get it in advance at a good price, and it's crazy because a thousand dollars is a good price for her. <laughs> her tickets, <laughs> man. What her ticket is rent, man. I, I sit in the back. back I don't know. Okay? Listen, I, I, as long maybe, as I'm look, in I'm the building, I'm okay. Maybe I don't have a dick power. I ain't had nobody bought me a ticket yet to nothing that was over like 300. Women get it all day long. I'm like, man, that puss, that thing is ruling the world. I'm talking about even the pussy that wasn't even born pussy. You, let me tell you why you ain't got that. Why? Because you ain't messing with busy women. That, busy women that's, that's what I mean. got, you know, they like, let me make this time is. valuable. That's probably it. Yo, it's a concert. He got time. You know time, what it is? I, I think time. what it is, the, the busy women, we, we both super busy. So there is no time to develop anything because we're just super fucking busy. Uh, it, it, it depends. Pa- pause right there. We're going to talk about that. Pause. Um, also, it's a lot of IG love going out in the building. Just want to shout out to uh, YG and Kalani. I think that's how you say her name. I don't know. Kalani. Uh, what? Kalani. No, I'm just... <laughs> Uh, and also, Jeezy and uh, <laughs> Jeannie Mai, um, they, they made it all Instagram love. Jeezy and who? Um, Jeannie Mai, the girl off of uh, The Real. Little Asian little chick. Little that's Jeezy girlfriend? Yeah, that's Jeezy girlfriend. You talking about the woman, that one that's like very yeah, un- the unattractive little, physically? The little small Asian girl, yeah. Oh, she the Jeezy. only Asian on the team. Jeezy, why you right? doing it's that? Like, she the only she Asian, She not, right? you talking about the one with the little square head with the strong jawline? And when she get up, you be like, sit down, please? <laughs> I mean, she real slim. She Very. I mean, I, that's his boo thing, okay? Oh, they done made Jeezy, it Insta famous. It's, it's, it's real. Bad. <laughs> 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 he went from, uh, what's home, girl? Uh, uh, the 2015, 2010, uh, Mary J. Blige. What was her name? Is? Had the crackhead mama, nephew, and all that. Keisha Cole. He went from crazy oh, ass Keisha Cole. Keisha, Keisha living her best life. Shout out to Keisha. Yeah, Keisha. She doing her thing. She got a baby. She had another she baby. Got a whole, she got baby. another dude, another baby. Outside of uh, uh, old boy play for Cleveland. Yeah, they Movie they cousin? had a whole I mean, show. Movie? They having a whole little t- taping or whatever about her pregnancy and all this stuff. Wow. Keisha Cole living her life. She don't care about y'all. See, that's what I'm saying. Women out here just throwing that thing. They running the world. Y'all running the world. Mm-hmm. Shit, somebody yeah. choose me. I'm out here working. Just hit me up. Um, Last two things on the list. Rest in peace, LaShawn Davis. Grammy nominee, winning songwriter. 
Um, definitely um, shout out some love to his um, wife, April. We sorry. Shout out from the Lit Network. Prayers up. Um, we're losing a lot of good people out here in this music industry. So, you know, make sure that y'all stay prayed up with your family, your loved ones. And remember that, you know, just because they're famous, they got hearts and families and love, too. So just keep some respect and love out to that. And last but not least, before we talk about the topic that is on Duke's mind, Bobby Brown, he got kicked off a jet airline because he was drunk and out here having altercations with people in the streets. Bobby, get your life. He was Bourbon Street belligerent drunk? <laughs> I wasn't on the plane, so I can't say if he it was probably Bourbon was. He Street. got kicked off. It was Bourbon I can't Street say if belligerent he was like drunk. Super Bowl week drunk. I can't say if he was like. Is it Buckhead Strip drunk before Ray Lewis get, got here drunk? Cause you know, I don't you know, know, but he got kicked off. He Bobby you know, Brown. That was, a, that was a certain level of drunkness. He, he gone. He gone. Is it Times Square, December thirty first, drunk? Cause that's a different drunk. Oh my God! And Duke, you wanted to talk about Dave Chappelle, but we gonna play yeah. a little um song. We yeah, gonna we'll come back, bring it. our guest, and bring her in to see what she wanna talk about it. So we gonna uh, play "Take Me Away" by David Fuller. David Fuller, "Take Me Away." We lit. Are back in the building. We back, we back. Duke Tony does the own lit network. Dominique, living what? in today's time. Who we got in here today? We gonna let them. Uh, you gonna let the people on your stuff. on your IG see? Is there some stuff? Introduce yourself again. Introduce yourself. Let them know who you are. Let them know what you come in okay. here to discuss with us today. I am so. Miss Elo. That is actually my handle for all platforms. I A M M S E L O. So follow me everywhere. 
YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever. Um, I am here um, as an actress, uh, radio host, writer, but I definitely wanted to talk about some information. The last time I came, um, I shared with you guys the Playboy Troy web series. So going? it's going really go. good. The, tonight is the third. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait. Pause. Hold up! Hold up! That was so delayed. What is it? Because he was doing something. I I, I, I watched it. Out. I, I, I watched it. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Awesome. <laughs> matter of fact, let me pull up my history. On my... I watched it. I just subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh boy, that made my stomach hurt. Hey. Um, oh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Right. Uh, engineer, if you out there listening, we just playing, we joking. <laughs> Disclaimer: He's a good guy. We're just joking. <laughs> just me slapping around. I, I watched it. <laughs> okay. Damn. You ain't you. And that, that's the type. That's the type of reaction we want. We want people to be excited about watching the yes, show. Yes. Yeah. How did you, Chris, How did you watch yes. it? <laughs> I'm gonna what tell you though. I'm gonna yeah. tell you. YouTube, what right? was the setting yes, like I'm, in the room when you was watching it? Wait, that's not Ooh, even like the, the best part of it though, because the, the first, that first episode, the first sensual episode that comes out that I'm in, is supposed to come out tonight sometime. So, oh, really? it's gonna get juicy. Yeah, it's gonna get real juicy. Is it a series or is it I a actually web was series? Like, later. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, you just it's a web it? series, no, and it's no, a it's a no. bunch of teasers. So it's like a three to five minutes. Most of them are all five minutes long, but. It really gets you like, oh wait, Let me it's ask over. This what, what happened? Just question because I, I was I'm actually um, a part of a web series. The people say it only takes seven minutes to get, <laughs> to get a guy there when you doing like that. Yeah, <laughs> in the web series, it went a little quicker. It went a little quicker. <laughs> That's what I'm just saying. It only takes seven minutes. So that means you're two minutes shorter. Up. They they were hey, 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 not all of us, okay? <laughs> and it depends on the I'm amount of stress. Going, and I'm just work. going by the stats of what like That's the point. If she a baddie, is is seven minutes. No, no. <laughs> It's I'm not, gonna tell you no, something. Like it's, when you, go ahead. So like, I wanted to be a phone sex operator at one point in my life, right? Mm -hmm. And so they said like, your goal is to get them to seven. Like you, you can guarantee yourself that if you're good at what you do, mm -hmm. you can guarantee yourself at least seven minutes because when they're listening and they're vibing, they're mentally. Uh -huh. Study statistics have shown that it takes about an average of seven minutes. Like so, obviously, there's an exception to every yeah. rule. There's some that take sooner. There's some who take more. But the average is seven minutes. So you're saying oh, the okay. average arrive time? Yes, seven minutes. Okay, well, you know what I'm saying? all right, cool, cool. What's ideal though? What's an ideal in your your mind? Like, is seven minutes ideal? You need to add another seven, you need 14 minutes? You need a whole 15 minutes. <laughs> I guess it really depends on what you got to do and what yeah. time of day it is. Yeah. You might, yeah. Seven minutes Every might time. be just right. If you got a lunch yeah. break, if you got a bathroom yeah. break, if you if the kids <laughs> by their daddy, if, if, if you, you got a night out, just like, a long, just if you had a long day and you're yeah. really just trying to top yourself off before you go to sleep, I mean, you know. Yeah, that, 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 I actually had a ticket. She was like, um, I ain't trying to be home. Yeah. Right. It's midnight. She I was gotta like, go to sleep, but let go. Sir, you're quickening. taking too long. Yeah, she was like, bro. Yeah. She was like, is it not good to you? I was like, so I'm trying to make this last forever. She was like, nigga, how much do you miss me? I was like, man, it's been a million. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> you guys Adult are... shit, man. Adult oh, shit, man. Let me tell you. Then when I was done, I went in there and I, and I, I drunk her Capri Sun. <laughs> I drank a Capri Sun and I ate a Dorito bag out of the, the out of the, the box with all the different you know variety bags and I got me a mini muffin bag. Oh, you had a snack baby pack. Snack. I eat baby snacks. You know what? That's a good idea. I Women, y'all might need to have like a little goodie bag and they might leave there. Yes, you know what no, I'm no, no, Get like no, a little no. drink, a little snack. Little Even when up. I go over to the house, care package. I, I know a lot of women they don't care they, package. I know a lot of women <laughs> they don't smoke, so I don't. I go there already on my level. And then when I get there, I got to have me one. So I'm about, I'm about to go on a deck, I'm going to go, whatever. Yeah. I got to get in my zone. You dig what I'm saying? The and way to get Duke is through a care package. No, care. that's not the way to get <laughs> him, yeah. Give him a snack. I <laughs> seem very simple, but I'm very I'm really not. But let's get back to you. Um, okay. So this web series, mm -hmm. this is the first season of the web series? Yes. Okay. This is the first season. Um, we're on chapter three. It's supposed to be dropping tonight, which mm -hmm. I'm appearing in. Um, as Nia, she is, I guess, his the yin to his yang in regards to his play playbook, because he's the playboy, um, and so we just Ooh, filmed, like we just filmed a few more um, episodes, so it's supposed to drop every other week, 
at this point. Let me, let me um, answer this question. Yeah. With that. Um, how did you acquire that role? Did you have to cash for it? Did you know no, someone? No. Um, what happened was, so I do um, make a film in eight hours every month. Um, and oh, under no. Mafia? Yeah, with Mafia. And so Jade, there. she was a judge for one of um, the the competitions. Well, actually, a little bit more. And the first time she showed up, her like energy was just like high and stuff. And me, I'm just always trying to make people laugh. You know, it doesn't even matter. So we were like watching the films, and it's always something that we can like pick out to make fun of. And so that's just kind of how it happened. And I would just kept like yelling crazy stuff out, and she was just, like laughing, like what? What is going on? Where I love her, like. And so um, I just kind of changed it around. And when she was like going over um, her review of each film I was just yelling out we love Jay we love Jay so she's like had in the back of her mind and so she like hit me up one day hey I have this web series do you want to be in it this and that this is the part and so I kind of read over it and I was like okay cool so that's kind of how it happened yeah we gotta go to the mafia one day I'm telling you you really have to block your whole day because from yeah. start to finish, you will be tired at the end. Yeah, I mean, I want to be a part of that. It's super fun. So you going to take a day off? Because I believe they do it on Saturdays, right? Mm, Sundays. The, oh, it's Sundays. usually the fourth Sunday of the month. Yeah, I mean, I'll take a Sunday off. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, Sunday's a very good day for me, but uh, I'll mm-hmm. make that happen. Yeah, it's the fourth Sunday of the month. I won't be able to do this And then Saturday. y'all get, like, this to take month, the film home with y'all and everything a little... Um, yeah, what what happens is we create everything that day. We write, we um, produce, we direct, we film, we edit put it all together, and then we uh, premiere it at night. Short film? How long is it? Short film, film like yeah. It, no. Um, like five minutes. It's about five. It's between four to five minutes at tops. How many have you done yourself that you kind of spearheaded? Or were you just a part of someone else's film? Me process? personally, um, for the last three, I've been able to write, film, and edit myself. Okay. With um, a new group because now they feel like I'm a little bit more advanced than some of the people that come because we have new people every month. Mm-hmm. So each month I'm getting like a new team. And so it's a good thing and also a challenging thing because then it's like, okay, what can you do? But then you find out that they really can't and then you know that it's a competition. So you got to make it work. And me, I'm super competitive. I'm like, Drop whatever. This is the way it's gonna go. Like so I know like what they're looking for. You, you stop being like. But yeah, I know I can if take. She got a new crew. They don't know what they're doing. Right, you and I and up. I know how the competition works, and I know right. what they're looking right. for. So if so what I are they see, looking for? what are they looking for? What's the key things that they want to see? But the key you things. Well, I mean, well, well the key things, things that they look for is sound. Gotta be right. Gotta be right or gotta be the best in order but to win a sound award. They're, they're helping you with that though, right? Right, right. Well the thing about it is they, they um give the um the review after everything. Like every month, of course, I don't win the sound. That's probably the, the hardest that I've ever tried to win. I don't care what because I don't have sound equipment. And oh, so So you shooting with your own things? Right. Everybody brings their oh, own okay. and you shoot with it and that, that gives you more practice and everything, um, with okay, your own okay. equipment and I, stuff. I see what so you're I thought you go like and, do people you know, use like their phones or like you cameras? use whatever you can to make it work. No, I, I the last one that I did, okay. I had my face in the pond. And so I used my phone and I put it in the water inside the water case and then it came on with my face looking like I was dead in the water. So that was like one of the probably stunts that <laughs> everybody's like, did you really put your face in the water? I was like, yeah. I mean, I didn't have any Who edit tricks. Face in the water? I know. I'm like, yeah. I didn't have any edit tricks this month, so I had to figure something out. And everybody's just like, oh, my gosh, she really looks dead. I'm like, listen, y'all got, like, one chance to make this work. Record me from the back. I'll record it with my phone. And it worked. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So we to, when we go, we have to bring her so she can help us. So well, we she's going to already be well, there. They, that's yeah, the thing they that set did. up the team, so... I mean, if you slide up now, just like we got, we got slide something in, 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 your, in your cash app. We take Zelle. No, this is what we got to do because she keep getting all a new of crew. <laughs> you got to just look real amateur because she yeah. keep getting the new people. Yeah, yeah. just look like we don't know. Just look yeah. lost. Well, don't you? bring anything out. Just leave nothing. it in the car. <laughs> and the next thing you know, next thing you know, we turn the thing. We just turn yeah. up. And they be like, oh, we got the green screen. We walking with the slow music. We super cool with her in the middle with fucking small. Oh yeah. Like where they? Where yeah, we gonna kick their ass. Right, right. <laughs> now, how many movies have you done with them so far? I've probably done about seven or eight, and then I've done two promos because when you win Viewers Choice, that means collectively 
that is what everyone would pick as the film that they would see. That's awesome. That's um, awesome. I've won two of those, and so with our team, once you win Viewer's Choice, you do the promo for the next uh, month. Okay. So, yeah. so you normally go there just by yourself, and then they pair you up with other people who right. are also there? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, yes. cool, cool. Even when I brought a guest, they were like, oh, yeah, she's going over there. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. They oh, they, so they, they don't want. People? Yeah, but she had fun. It was. I mean, what is it? They just don't want that because some people have a natural. Chemistry. They don't want to know that y'all have pre-made something. Right, right. They want to know you coming know straight off the dome. I know we got to. We got to go there and we can't even talk or make eye contact. Yeah, we just got to pull up. You just got to pull up. That's but I how feel it works. like they gonna know that we know each other, so we gonna get separated. Off the <laughs> <laughs> so y'all can't even like Damn. know each other. Y'all gotta be like at separate tables and Damn. be like. That's Hi. Good. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Put on a hat and yeah. some, some shades. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You got to braid your stuff back. Cleo stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you Hopefully they won't out look at the your uh, Instagram out. page. Right. <laughs> Set it up. But, hey, we kind of already messed up because, you know, we already had um <laughs> we already had him on here. Right. So he uh -huh. and, I and I communicate That's with true. him, you know what I'm saying, yeah. which is, is pretty cool. So we um, already messed up. Are yeah. you familiar with the um, Atlanta Black Film Festival that's coming up? I am not familiar with it, but um, I do want to attend that. Um, okay. Me, um, we tried to submit this particular series, but it was too late when we found out about it. Right. Um, so, but I am trying to attend for media for the magazine. So, okay, cool, yeah. cool. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. That's um, give me your name again so they can. Okay, you know. um, it's <laughs> I A M M S E L O. That's Miss Elo. Um, also. From Playboy Troy, what I wanted to mention, the sequel is now changing to my part as a lead role, as in Playgirl. Hey. So instead uh, of Playboy so Troy, it's, it's right. now right. It's a spinoff oh, of Playgirl. That's good. That's good. Which, so you did an excellent job. Then, so you're yeah, really because job. we were in the middle of filming, and she was just like, "Huh." It has to be any, any man thing. They got to be a girl kind of right. Yeah. And she's like, "Huh." Yeah. So we brought up, "What if?" What if Nia was like a playgirl too? And then we just kind of started talking about it. And she was like, oh, that's a good pitch. Yep, we're going to go with it. So we literally got the ball rolling. And we probably did two episodes a week and a half ago. It's supposed to come out October. And then I'm supposed to guest star in another one that she wrote, which is called Black Valentine. So my character is now in three different um, series. Yeah. Shout out to the hustle. I, I got a question. Mm -hmm. You ever meet someone and they try to m minimize what you do because they feel like you're not a big time actress or you're not in the big time, so to speak? Everybody, you ever had that encounter? I have not met anyone who has made me feel that way because everybody that I've met is just kind of when I talk about it and I talk about whatever I'm doing, it's just a lot of support. Now, whether it's fake or not, I, I don't really care. Right. It's just I try to leave all the negative stuff out. Um, it's usually people you know. <laughs> So it's not necessarily the people you don't know, um, right. because when I meet people, and, and they're just that? like they're just like, oh it's my like, gosh, oh, that's I so see great. You a little promo. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they use the Lil. Lil. Yeah, they, listen, listen, they, they be listen. Jealous. When you they be use jealous. Lil, yes. to describe any fucking thing that somebody's doing, it's <laughs> an adjective, Lil. Yes, every that's time. Crazy. Let me let y'all go back and finish talking to her. <laughs> Lil. Boy, boy, you got your, boy, see, you got your yeah. little car now. Boy, you, you, you whipping with your little ride. <laughs> your little web series. Yeah, little web series. little radio show. Oh, I saw you were doing, you were doing like... you, you playing little Lena and shit. Okay. But, like, the thing that gets me, especially specifically just generated to the Lit Network, when you mm -hmm. tell people, oh, I do a radio show. Oh, yeah. so it's like a podcast? Yeah. No. Like, yeah. I just I just said a radio. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, boy, all right. Yeah, yeah, You because on Mondays you do your little podcast thing, yeah. right? Yeah. It's a po little, podcast a little podcast thing. Little podcast thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Little podcast thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's it's we we joke about it all the time. Like it's funny because it's it's when people don't know you, you get more support. Yes. And yeah. it's, why do you think that is the, the case? I think because the people who know you is either one wanting to have what you have or the um, the influence that you have because a lot of times. People used to minimize, like, oh, you're just doing too much and this and that. And I heard that. It's like, I heard that a lot. 
Well, somebody it's not too me, much for me. Yeah, I heard that a lot. <laughs> somebody like, told me my lot, personality lot. is too big, so people don't yeah. like me because my personality. Yeah, I've, is too I've heard big. that too. I've heard that you know, like a lot, lot. Like I, you know, I'm cutting a kid, and mm-hmm. I'm asking, hey, you know, what, what do you like to do, or what do you plan on doing right. after school, or whatever? And he's like, man, why are you getting all into that? Like, you know, just cut the hair. And I'm like, this experience is not is beyond a right. haircut. And that's really where it clicked on me. I'm like, yo, I'm not just a barber. Mm-hmm. I'm a counselor. You know, I'm a therapist. I'm mm-hmm. going to let you get in my chair and lay it on me. God's yeah. telling me all type of things. Because yeah. they, sometimes they don't get a chance to talk to someone. Mm-hmm. Right. So how often does a man have a person in his little bubble that close on him for 15 to 20 minutes at a time? Absolutely. Twice, twice a month, I mm-hmm. think. You know what I'm saying? If not more. And I just feel like that is... They're not even just that much time, because there's some people who spend time with people, but that time and show interest in that person, that right. kid. And that it's is. genuine, you yes. know what I'm saying? Because I really want you to take a load off. I hate when people sit in a chair and they be like this. Like, man, relax. They got a back on it. Yeah. Sit back. Yeah. Enjoy that back. That's why they made it. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't a stool. You know what I'm saying? It's a chair. Right. You back know? right. But back people problem. just be tensed. And, and, and one thing for yeah. men, man, we, we built on pride. Mm. Especially black men, we built mm. on pride. Heavy yes. heavies and rooted. Yes. And... Um, we don't really know how to let that go and just have a good, solid, quality relationship. And even when I see it, it almost look weird. Like when I see little kids come to shop and they got BFFs and they partners, I'll be like, man, this look too... Yeah. It just look weird. I just didn't come around having a BFF. I didn't come around another male caring about me that much. Yeah, absolutely. So even when it is displayed, it's like I, my mentor had to groom me in that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He now became my daughter's godfather, but he had to groom me in that because I didn't come from an environment where men treated each other that way. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I think so it was that like that a dog eat dog world. Yeah, it was just like you, you get you, you get me, and <laughs> we we are cool based upon our common interests. Mm. You know, we like girls. Okay, cool. We cool. You know, we wear the same shoes. We cool. Right. Yeah, you know, we both nah, play bad. We wear the same shoes. Mm, we all right because I don't really want you wearing your shoes. But not when you're in school. Yeah. You know, right, so, <laughs> yeah. You know, in school is different. Yeah. yeah. Like you're in school yeah. and you're a makeup kind and you meet a chick that just, y'all gonna be at each other house doing each other up. And even if you really characteristically outside of makeup don't like her, that makeup between the two of y'all gonna bring y'all together more times than not. But see, that runs over into adulthood as well it, because it women, women, yeah, it does the same thing. You, got you your party find partners. that one, yeah, you find that one thing and you cling to it, and then everything else is like, well, I don't rock with but them. That's with why that. you gotta yeah. shake the bush and let the dead leaves fall. Yes, every now and then, I think really, if not quarterly, at least twice a year, every six months. You got to evaluate the people that's close around yes. you. Yes. Because over time, you can start collecting trash and yes. baggage. You mm-hmm. know, like, and just people. Hoarding friendships. Yes. Yeah, you just hoard it because you think you, you, you're obligated to give them that. Like, I moved here in last August, so it's over a year ago. And a girl that I met, we got real close, I promise you, most brilliant 25-year-old that I had ran into. Like, right. And then once I started doing radio, started doing acting, started just being doing things out, it right. it just the support became less and less. I started hearing from her less and less. And now we don't even speak. Like it's just I have no I reached out, it was short. I, me for one, I don't have time for that. Oh, I, I'm, like, I'm definitely with you on and that. And then it was to a point where I'm like Okay, I didn't know what was going on, so I just let you be where you at. And oh no, I haven't even spoken to my mom or blah blah blah. You know what? And that then, always be the response. Like, girl, oh, it's not you. It's just but, I'm just having a little self to me time. But that was the Every lie time. because <laughs> because one of our mutual friends sent me conversations, and she's like, I haven't been on social media. Like, you have my number, you know that, right? But it's okay. Like, I don't do liars, so. Um, I just kind of like let that be a wash. Like, when you so when that, you say the uh, mutual friend, so is the friend then only really your friend? Because if if I'm a mutual friend with people, whatever this person's doing, I don't talk to the other person about it, and whatever this person's doing, I don't talk to the other person about it. Even if you have Sally over here, like, girl, did you know Trish? Da 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 da. All right, cool. But when Trish, right. like, where where does your loyalty lie when you're in the middle? Because I don't hate people like, oh, well, she don't like you, so I don't like you. If I have a connection with you. I have a connection with you. If I have a connection with her, I have a connection with her. And long as those separate friendships are good for me, I don't really be paying attention to the beef between well, y'all. <laughs> well, she, the the mutual friend, she she has her own separate relationship. She got introduced to her through me, so she has her own separate relationship with her or whatever. It was just when I was conveying the story, okay. she was like, "Wait a minute." She was just like, and then I was like, yeah, and I was like, I was like, first of all, I already know you didn't really have to tell me, but I already know how it is. Like, she can't stay off social media. So it was just like this whole thing of, I'm too grown for this. 
just say you didn't want to deal with me no more, and I'm done. Like, no hard right. feelings. You moving on right, with right. your life. You you I'm moving you on. Yeah. yeah, and it was just weird. I'm like, I don't do this petty stuff no more. I'm Let me like, ask you this question. What if yeah. you had a friend, and mm-hmm. they were was, was sincere, but when they go through things, financial stuff, maybe, mm-hmm. you know, life's just not quite positioned right for them, mm-hmm. they kind of become reclusive and reserved. And then you reach out to them, and it's like, nah, they say the same thing. Nah, it's not that, but you don't have that other person say, ah, let me tell you this. Would you still take what they're saying as face value? Say, hey, nah, I'm just dealing with some stuff, whoop the whoop, and it ain't you. It just depends on the person because... The reason why I say that because I meet people and mm-hmm. I've met people in my life where mm-hmm. they only hit you when they're up. When yes. things are thriving, yes. things are good. When things are not good and they're not thriving, they're not to the well off in the situation at that mm-hmm. time, mm-hmm. they don't. They, they go sh- completely ghost on you. Mm-hmm. I could do that. I'm that type of person. Okay. Like if, if I'm going through something, I, I really just... Not in the sense that I don't want to be bothered but i don't want to be bothered i want to like yeah. figure my get my mind right, right figure my stuff out figure out what i messed up to where i got to this level regroup regain and sometimes so do, do when you, you have, have people, close friends that you can kind of maybe communicate with that with, with them with y'all can kind of maybe share resources or maybe share I don't. you don't have any woman mm-hmm. that you can have a sit down my with. mother your mom <laughs> but like even so with my mother like i don't it's you know mom, so moms are warriors yeah and so you know you it can it's a, it's a love effort, but it can also be an irritation effort. Like, it's like, okay, yeah, I, I get I, it. I almost came that close to blocking my mom. I understand. Okay, all right. Me too. So, I like, for real. Like, Me too. Like, for real. Because, like, <laughs> it was something. I was doing something. I was saying something. I was having a back and forth with someone. Mm-hmm. And on my social media, I could <laughs> Your mama come say, in. Don't do that to my baby. In. No, it ain't that. She'll come in. And she and, and I was like, Ma, I had to call her. Ma, I'm deleting this shit. Okay? <laughs> Stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I post something or... And it was just a couple times, but that was the time I was just hot. Mm. And when I'm hot and I got to get this off, I don't, all that, hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa, stop it. Get your hands <laughs> off me. Yeah. All this trying to stop me from, I'm about to express this. Let me go ahead and do this. So we're going to take, you know. oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, like I'm that. just saying, we, even with that, you know, we sometimes got to shake the bush, let Dave leave on and keep moving. We're going to take a little minute. We're going to hold you hostages for a little longer because I want to put you in on our, um, <laughs> Lit conversation. Okay. But well, we're gonna play the next song since uh it's really in the theme of where we're going on. I don't even know if this is the theme of the song, but the title is because we not with it, okay? <laughs> and that is by Leo Billy and NX Billy. Um, we lit <laughs> Next when yo ain't with it, next when yo nigga really kinda fit it. I told my big go get it, I told that nigga go get it. If you want smoke, I'm with it. You catch me in the city, you catch me in the bitty. Shoot at your bad like Ricky, shoot at your bad like Ricky. You a broke bitch, you just pretty. You a fuck nigga, you ain't big. Fuck nigga, you ain't big. That bitch did you did it. I'm gonna block my genie. Shoot at some shit, not friendly. Shoot at some shit, not friendly. I am not your kin. She see what chose, she know that she chose. Fessing on the girl, I'm wiping your nose. Fuck nigga, know how to play with this shit. If a nigga want smoke, we gon' pull up and hit. We chasing the money, we tryna get rich. I'm on the drink, so I roll with a little. I smoke out the bag, you smoke out the seal. I thought I've been told you that truth with my hill. I'm catching it, packing, I'm making it flip. Bad little hoe wanna hit on the tip. I'm having these hoes, so I feel like a pill. We know that I got on so that it can drill. Run up on me, yo, I get deal. Ski, 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 on your bitch lip. Ain't playing with these niggas no more. Pull out the chopper and let it bitch go. I was down bad, but I found my way up. I found my way up, fuck niggas. I got my goods in, you know it's one. Smoke then it's all. I can they stuck. This bitch wanna fuck, yeah, nah, no color up. Yeah, you say what we'll pop in, nigga up. Hey, nigga, hell, pockets full of dust. Pocket watch in, you gon' get touched. That nigga, he plotting, you gon' get buzzed. Say that boy some Molly's ass school buzz. Nicks when yo ain't with it. Nicks when yo nigga really kinda fit it. I told my big go get it. I told that nigga go get it. If you want smoke, I'm with it. You catch me in the city. You catch me in the bitty. Shoot at your bad like Ricky. Shoot at your bad like Ricky. You a pro bitch, you just pretty. You a fuck nigga, you ain't big. Fuck nigga, you ain't big. That bitch did you did it. I'm gonna block my genie. Shoot that shit, not friendly. Shoot that shit, not friendly. I am not your kin. She see me with chose, she know that she chose. Fessing on the ground, I'm wiping your nose. <laughs> and we're back. But nah, I'm telling you, man, we had a conversation while we was on break, man. Jamie Foxx, one of the coldest guy in entertainment. Dave, Absolutely. Oh my goodness. All right, y'all. So we um held, held her hostage because. <laughs> You know, I be out and about looking at the media, listening to people's conversations, doing what it do. <laughs> and uh, this is this is just real interesting to me. Um, so as y'all know, you know, I'm saying Tristan uh, and Chloe were a, a, a thing. They got a child together. They was all in, you know, love and like or whatever it is that you do in the celebrity world. And then all of a sudden he had a little thing, a little rendezvous with Jordan Woods. And so that became a big beef. So this know. dude is still cheating? 
that's not that's not it. That's not it, honey. Because black men don't you, cheat. I mean, you know they don't stop. I mean, <laughs> because because of a maybe, post, maybe, like, maybe he doesn't stop. identify as black. Black men don't stop cheating. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. There That's we a go. Word missing. There we That's go. A word missing. Uh, Even but, if they um, get caught. Either way, so um, he wants to get Chloe back. So uh, he called in. He called Drake actually and was like, "Yo, Drake, what should I do? I really want her. I'm feeling how I want to holler at it. Like, I want her to come back." Wait, wait. Drake got that type of pull. Wait, you well, the grown man gonna call another grown man? He called Drake. He called uh, Drake. Now besties now. So they didn't call Lil Duval? They called no. Drake. He called, he called Drake. I don't know why he called Drake. He called Drake. And apparently Drake said, pull out all the stops. You want her back? You're going to have to go up on 100. So his his idea of going up on 100, he bought, her, he bought her a $400,000 Porsche. That's not um, enough. Well, he bought her right. that. And all it did, <laughs> all it did that. was get him a dinner date. <laughs> but so, that's not enough, though. That's not enough. Well, yeah. it's, it's a start. I mean, she turned and gave him a dinner date, a little moment. So we'll see after the dinner date how she feels. She feel caved. And see, what she other... should have just like, oh, nah, see, the thing is, the thing is, she got like Kobe, Kobe did his move way back in the day in Denver. You're right. And he bought, I think it was like a $10 million ring back in the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He but he, he kept his dick to himself after that. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. But That's Tristan keep getting caught. Because he, he don't want to keep Tristan spending $10 million. Dollars. <laughs> Chris, Tristan Thompson is a clown. A lot of these dudes are clowns. Let me tell you something. You know what Tristan Thompson Canadian. is? Canadian. He's an AAU kid <laughs> that never had time to be a child. Now, he's a grown-ass man, and he's doing yeah, childish he's shit. That's what all these basketball and football players are doing. They, <laughs> when you play football and basketball year-round, you ain't got time to F off. You ain't got time to go get a little piece of pool. Making it to the NBA you, your whole the job and mission is to get there. Now you're there. Now you got a whole lot of money and you ain't really had no experiences outside of dribbling the basketball mm-hmm. on the court. Yep. So now you already know how to interact with women. You're a fucking clown. You're doing dumb shit. And on top of it, you run around here doing stupid stuff. Well, why are you running? Man, listen, go order you a chick, have, a, have your partner pick her up in a limousine tenant. You dig what I'm saying? Bring it you to your crib. Sometimes you can't do it with the partners because, you know, the partners are, are shysty too these Well, days. listen, you're not trying to marry nothing because your old lady just had your baby. You just want to peel off. Let your partners sample her first. Yeah. <laughs> and by the time she gets to you, you, y'all are you know, a wet wipe. But and you're then not you listening. Off. You're not ah. listening. When you put too many people, it's like the people that rob the bank. They always get caught because they bring the wrong person in. Well, you, you have, shouldn't be robbing the bank. But I'm saying, like, if you bring your homeboy in, it, every time you look at the media and every time you look at the other things and stuff that you see online, it's always someone in so-and-so's camp advised of, of X, Y, and Z. Right. It's not the people all around and about. It's always... Yo, someone very close to Duke told us about something he was going through. Someone very well, close m- to Well, most times when you ain't paying people what you say you're going to pay them, like Warren Sapp, mm-hmm. you order two chicks, you think you're just going to pay one. Mm-hmm. No, that's not how it works, sir. Give her, listen, you know what the old way say? I pay them to leave and shut the fuck up. That's true. That's what it's that's about. When you have a significant other, you got something to lose. Most times you're supposed to find you somebody who got something to lose. See, these mm-hmm. niggas don't even know the game. Yeah. Because they wasn't raised right. Like, if you're going to cheat on your girl, go cheat with we somebody who's going to cheat. Tone I'm cheating. not saying we condone it, but it's a way to do your foolishness if yeah. you're going to do foolishness. My dad told me that a long time ago. That's, you know, I was always told if you're going to do something, be the best at it. Whether it's be a fool, whether it's to be a comedian, yeah. whether it's be whatever, whether it's to be a liar or a thief or whatever, be the best at it. That means if you decide, hey, you know what, I'm just going around stealing, I'm going to rob yeah. people, I'm going to do this. Do your homework Tony and Dominique, be the best. I know that I'm going to be rich and well off. I'm going to be real wealthy. Okay. Life is going to change for me. Okay. Person you see the day, you're going to see him, but you're going to see a lot of money behind him. Okay. Hopefully at that point, I, could, I have found someone I've built with. I feel trust. Uh, you know, whatever. Absolutely. I, I don't know how to share a penis. When it's exclusively for someone, I can't go give it to anybody else. That, I mean, that's, that's a different mindset. No, it's not because I just can't do it. Because once I like her... I don't fuck with you no more like that. Get off of me. <laughs> we are roommates. I'm going to the living room to play 2K. It just came out. Leave me alone. You can have the bedroom. So if you dating somebody and they start feeling you falling off, that means you're not falling somebody else that you're really feeling? No, that don't mean it. That doesn't mean it. I'm saying in <laughs> like that I moment. Just need a no, yeah. no, no. Me <laughs> falling me falling off. It could be a lot of things. Like if I'm working a lot. If I go a length, if I'm going length of time without seeing my child, that's another thing. I go numb, and a lot of chicks are like you be going numb when you ain't seen chica. Da, da, da. And I was like, I, I, I shit, stop caring. If I go through two, three weeks and I ain't seen her, I don't really care how you feel about nothing. 
You come in, I, why you ain't there? Man, shut up, man. I ain't seen that little one in a minute. Now, help you gonna help me get to that? So how does someone help you? Like, can she? Um, they help me get to it. No, I'm, it's easy. I'm saying, like, can she like go pick up for you? And if we like, on that level, it? yeah. If we on that level, yeah, it's no problem. Like, like, okay, well, I know you got to work, but I'm gonna go what, get chicken look, for you. It's, so it's when like, you get it's home, it's like cooking. Yeah. It's like cooking, right? Mm -hmm. It ain't cooking that's the issue. It's the preparatory, the prep that go into it, the cutting and all that. Before that moment happened, there was a lot of things that led up to that moment, and we've communicated. And one thing I've realized when you date a woman, you can express why a lot of men don't express. Because when a man express, a woman don't rectify it after, the, after it's been expressed. She's, oh, it's going to be all right. Fix it, babe. That's it? <laughs> That's it? A lot of women do that. Okay. That's why men don't talk. You don't talk to me. You seem so distant. Because when I do bring you in, you're going to use it against me, one, or you're not going to do anything at all. Yeah, I used to be a Bob the Builder. I've changed can that. Can we fix it? <laughs> yes, yes, we can. Uh, yes. But I think, I think, that, I think that ultimately, <laughs> but I mean, you, what well, you, said, you just said earlier about dating a guy. He yeah. has to come. He so, has to maneuver a certain listen, way. With listen, Linda. Chin, listen, Linda. With, with what you just said, um, you have to. It's really about finding the right people because exactly. while men have been hurt, women have been hurt. Everybody been hurt. So right. if we can all clear the air, I feel like Jay Z today when he was like, "We know the problem. The issue yes. is the problem. <laughs> the problem is everybody been hurt. It's non gender specific." Specific on your feelings being hurt is right. not so. If everybody can get past that wall and realize, oh, I've been hurt, but guess what? He might be hurt too. Or yeah, I've been hurt, but she might be hurt too. Once everybody jumps over that hurdle, I think everything can actually start leveling it out, and people can start thinking with a clear mind in the sense of, okay, he might be feeling this way. I need to listen to him. She might be feeling this way. I need to listen to her. But everybody's so for self right now in relationships. Right. Nobody is considering. If you take away yourself, if I, if me and you are dating. And, and my whole job is considering you, and your whole job is considering me, that relationship can't do anything for Flourish because I want to make sure you're happy. I'm trying to listen to you, understand you, study you, figure you out. Right, right, right. You're trying to study me. So I can't be selfish if I'm so focused on now, you. Now, now guess you what? can't be selfish if you're so focused on it me. It then breaks if you have any infraction there where you bring a past situation with you. If you carry the baggage with you, then that means that that person has to, before he can show you who he is, if his name is Jeff, he has to show he is not friendly. I don't agree. Shit. I'm going to tell, tell you why I don't agree. Actually, I, I had this um, conversation with somebody. And uh, why I understand that wholeheartedly, I have the mindset right now, and this is through growth and development and, and a, a, lot of, a lot of prayer, um, I have the mindset of realizing that people can't help sometimes but come hurt. You, you don't heal all the way by yourself. It's, 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 I just, agree. it's just not what you do. So when you meet somebody you have to realize that you're going into it with a certain amount of moment. Like, I have to deal with some stuff in the beginning, and you just have to make sure, am, am I worth it? Because when I meet you... Keyword, work. When I meet you, I don't know you, you don't know me. Our vibe hasn't connected. We have to work through the, uh, I don't really like this. Uh, you, don't really, you don't know my likes and dislikes to fully. I don't know your likes and dislikes fully. And there's some stuff, while we're together, I may not have experienced it. Now I've experienced it with you, and I'm realizing, uh, I don't really like that. But I didn't know that before because I haven't experienced it before. So can I get through that with you? Absolutely. But people don't have the time, the energy, and the, the mindset to grow and develop and move through those hard times to get past those. It's like, you oh, she getting on my right. nerves. Two, oh, he two, getting two, on my two nerves. Two things I'm you out. said I heard, and I, I heard the whole thing, but worth and time. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know their worth, so they can't get true value for someone because then they dispose themselves to people that's really not going to feed them. They're not right. going to reciprocate that to them. You see what I'm saying? And then another thing is time. Everybody's riding, running, running real, real hard to maintain something. Mm -hmm. Either you're working in the corporate field, and you got some people that's working corporate. I'm and, the worst. <laughs> and I'm the worst. To get to me, it's a else. lot. Something so else. it's definitely right. a toy for them. And then you have a boy, you have three boys that's fully active. I'm the worst. You see what I'm I saying? Don't, I, don't, I don't make. So how much time do you think you have for somebody? Mm -hmm. I don't really make a lot of time. And, I, and I'm cranky, not necessarily because I'm cranky in a relationship, but just because I'm doing so much. Right. Yeah. And, um, and most of that seems like, oh, she's an angry person or she's upset. And it's really not that. It's just that I'm busy. I'm tired. And now you I see got other stuff going on. Why people <laughs> in the industry date people in the industry. Industry, yeah. Because they understand, understand it. Yeah. I didn't understand it. But like, I, I, like, like, even when I was a barber and I wasn't even doing comedy, I remember it was times my daughter mother just couldn't understand why I had to be in the shop so much. Until she got a solid hairstylist. And nobody could do her the way that hairstylist could do her. And she was like, she had to sit out with her hairstylist. She was like, I'm always trying to get in. All he cared about was the shop, shop, shop. And she's like, that's how it goes in this industry. Yeah. And you want him to move from here to Carrollton. And it's just like, he going to lose everything. Like he has to start from zero and prove that he's good. 
And you know how oh, people yeah. are. Right. Would you let anybody come and do your hair behind me? Oh, hell no. Nah. So what you think he has to deal with? Right. You see what I'm saying? And she was like, wow. And so it takes a coming to light type moment for some people. You can't just hit them with logic, explain it to them, break it all the way out. That still ain't good enough. It's all mindset. They got to go through the process. Hey, we're going to take this quick break. Who's hey, up next? Hey, we going to play this song. We going to play this song. It's called Georgia Peach by Eli? 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 I think it's a girl, y'all. Cause, um, Let's just Eli. spell it out so therefore we don't have to finish E-L-I, it. but E-L-I could be Eli. It could oh, be Eli. Eli. It could be, you know, it's so many things. Again, Non-gender specific song. Nah, <laughs> it's, no, it's a girl. I know it's a girl because the, the person who sent the email said she. Okay. But I just don't know how this girl pronounces it. Is, is Eli a unisex name? Is that can, can I feel it? like all names are unisex in this At new this world. At this point. And yes. For real? It's all unisex. It's just nothing but Duke is... So you can have a girl named Duke. I mean, no. all unisex. No, nah, I'm not dating a Duke. It's something... You know what's crazy? <laughs> it's, a unis, it's some unisex names to be like, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. Like when they take male uh, names and put Isha on it, I'm not dating yeah, I was a gonna say, Isha. I was going to say like a Keisha or something. I'm not like dating that. a Tyrone Isha. I'm not doing it. You're not going to date a Duke Isha? What? <laughs> Anyway, uh, Frank Georgia Peach by Eli, Eli, Elo. Not Elo, because she right here, but. <laughs> we lit! <laughs> My single ain't out. We are back. It's your girl, Tony Dominique. <laughs> and Duke Death Doom laughing on the mic. And Duke we are Des living Doom. in today's time on the Lit Network, just in case hey, y'all not, didn't my know. My new name for the next few seconds is Mr. Elo, okay? Thank you. Duke Death Doom, okay? <laughs> I don't even see you as a Mr. 
female name. Like, they just <laughs> you know that's the new thing now. That's what's happening now. You know what I'm saying? Women are so liberated, so powerful. When they get married, like, nigga, you take my name. Come on, don't make are me do it. Are you serious? Yes. I would never. Yeah, you haven't seen the women oh, that's, right. that's not a new. That's not a new thing, though. Well, like, it's not new, but it's becoming more from popular. a different generation. It's more popular. I if you, you try women, the holla at Shadow Ray, huh? Yeah, they and they do that. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I'm all about the knee. I, that's why I've been working out, get my knees right, because I'm ready to get I'm down on one. I'm not proposing. <laughs> I want my ring. For real. Right. Because like I feel like when, when you are the female and you propose, like what what do you get? Do you like look? I propose to you now. You got to buy me my engagement ring. Like how? how now does you that work? have to marry me. Like that doesn't. How does that work? Makes no sense. Like I, yeah, that won't be me. I'm sorry. Only getting on my knees for one thing, and it won't be uh, to propose. No, oh, cr- no man, Absolutely he didn't even hear that. Say, he oh, didn't hear that. Hey, don't, don't say repeat. That again. Don't repeat. Don't repeat. Say that because I was getting scope on my team. Don't, don't repeat. Double back. What you say? Don't repeat. Abort mission. Your partner. Abort. You abort. abort. Uh, hit that playback when you watch it on the stream. I got, now, I, look. Now I got to go all the way to the, right here. Right here. Oh, Ooh, hit that play man. when you watch it again after the what, end what of the, the hell show. Did she, she just say, bro, she you got me off, off, off my focus. Thank you, though. Yeah, he see, definitely, I don't think he heard it either. Nah, he didn't. But we want to hear this. Go up, because I don't think they heard it. She ain't saying nothing. The listeners heard it. She ain't saying nothing. She ain't even saying nothing, cuz. What, what she said? What she said? She like, she like uh, short, thick niggas? Okay, I'm, I'm That's winning. Not what she said. I'm winning. I'll take that. I'm gonna make it up in my head. That's I what like she good niggas. You look see however that? you want. As long that? as you good to see me, that? I don't care. That's what I'm talking about. I think oh. I found Miss Desdo. Oh my god. Ma, I'm ready right. up New Orleans. <laughs> had a red beans ready, you're anyway. You like red go beans? Go ahead and tell the people. Hey, I like Paul, food. Oh. Go ahead and tell the people um where to find Jesus. you, where to follow you, what projects you got going on, where to watch it. I know you have, you know, the okay. um players. I want to call it the Players Club. <laughs> the Players Club drop. Basically. <laughs> drop it tonight. Let them know how to um, tune in today and what the time to drop it. Okay. Club. Players Club. Playboy <laughs> Troy. I the Players Club. What you think? She Diamond? You're not going to reduce her. Yeah. Diamond I, I definitely cannot be Diamond. You're not going to reduce her lit. to a fictitious world to be Diamond. Nah, not my future. Yeah. She could be Ebony? No. 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 no, no. no. You can be like Dime Ebony? Like the mid between? Let me ask you something. No. If, if you was a dancer... Where like no, we're what? not doing this. Okay. We got we got a timeline. Okay, um, cool. Go I'm ahead and let them know. Let them know where they can find you. Follow me. What they got going on? Okay, you guys can find me on all platforms at I A M S E L O. That's I am Miss Elo. That's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and YouTube. Our projects that one has already dropped, Playboy Troy. It's on YouTube. Everything is on YouTube under J Angela Moore. The new projects coming up is Playgirl, which I am the lead role. And the next one is Black Valentine, um, which is a family drama. And I also guest star in that one as well. And that one should be coming up October, November as well. That is what's up. Yes. So thank you for coming in. Thank you for sharing You know thank what you, you got going on. Me. Thank you for hitting me up and coming back and letting yes. us know what you got going on. Anytime you got something going on, definitely let us know. I sure will. If you want us to um, post something, let us the people know on our Facebook, whatever, send it over so we know what's going on and so we can support you too. So thank okay. you for coming in. We're going to play Hello by T Dot while we bring in our next guest, okay? We lit! Make a bite down, do it gracefully. My name got a butt. Yeah. yeah. Hey, let me tell you why they hit on me. Make him buy, do it gracefully. I got a buzz like a bumblebee. Got scratch like a referee. My bitch bad, she from Italy. Got me crossing the border, I'm a refugee. Got me doing things I never seen. Scuba diving in the Philippines. Blue water floating on the jet skis. Riding in the mines on the 10 speed. Shorty got a man, but she with me. She must have been doing one of them every day late. She don't want to fly like a frisbee. And the only thing she want to do is lick me. Put the dick out in the kidney. And that's why they hate no man. Let me tell you why they hate on me. My name made more, but I'm rich on me. Got so much ice, you can skate on me. It ain't my birthday, but got the cake on me. Hello, hello, hello. Let me tell you why they hate on me. Hello. Got more dough than a baker. That's why I keep them nines on me like Red Ski. I 
fat pay the limit, check out my lifestyle. Go like a man, do like a lifestyle. My niggas that shop is a finger nail file. I been 400 degrees since the juvenile. I'ma keep a stack of paper till the day I fall. But I'm living my best life, little Duval. Smile, bitch, don't be hating when you see me. With a bad bitch, do whatever I wish, just like Gene. See, I'm all about my chips, like Eric described me. So I'ma keep on grinding, chasing every dollar. The niggas blind if your eyes can't see. And these are the reasons why they hate on me. Let me tell you why they hate on me. My name ain't one, but I'm rich on me. Got so much ice, you can skate on me. It ain't my birthday, but got the cake on me. Hello, hello, hello. Let me tell you why they hate on me. Hello, hello. It ain't my birthday, but got the cake on me. Let me tell you why they hate on me. My name ain't one, but I'm rich on me. Got so much ice, you can skate on me. It ain't my birthday, but got the cake on me. Hello. This goes out to the 90s, babies. It's DJ, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This goes out to the 90s, babies. Please don't play, for you know we crazy. Last generation that grew up outside. We misunderstood in all y'all's eyes. We might be just a tad bit impatient. But don't worry about us, no, we make it. We're 90s, babies. No, we're not lazy. We laugh, we laugh. And the reasons may be because we're 90s babies, yeah, we're 90s babies, yeah, we're 90s babies, this goes out to the 90s babies, this goes out to the 90s babies, yeah. We rock grass like Tommy and them, grew up watching Invaders Zim, cause I was different like none of them, and I remember I ain't had my daddy like Simba, but still a number one contender, you can call me courage, but ain't no coward in me, got the power and I puff up quickly, I do this simply, cause I can, and I really hope y'all understand, I'm unstoppable, my dream's possible, just like Kim, why don't y'all want me to win, grew up to be the man, had to finesse like Ed and Eddie, had to make sure I was ready, got hella balls like spaghetti, please don't test me, You'll never catch me like Ash, reminiscing about the past. You get left there, I'm the best here. Can't wait to see where I'll be at next year. Cause I got that VHS now, call that a very hot sound. Just waiting to hear that you're proud of this 90s, baby. Cause I'm this crazy. goes out to the 90s, baby. Please don't play, for you know we crazy. Last generation that grew up outside, we misunderstood in all y'all's eyes. We might be just a tad bit impatient, but don't worry about us, no, we'll make it. We're 90s, babies. No, we're not lazy. We love, we love. And the reasons may be because we're 90s babies, yeah, we're 90s babies, yeah, we're 90s babies, this goes out to the 90s babies, this goes out to the 90s babies. I miss Pac-Man and Pac-2, damn I wish they wouldn't have got you, back when things were so simple and the music still stood a chance too, the way was beepers instead of iPhones, Walkmans with the CDs, the kids today couldn't see these, Macarena instead of hit them folks, all that was a lit ass show, good burger with Kenny and Kale, miss my childhood can't you tell, outside everyday hide and seek, bubble gum bubble gum in a dish, how many pieces do you wish, damn I could have got used to this, growing up wanted to be Batman, Needed Peter Pan, where's Neverland? Fruit Loops with two can Sam, but now it's just taxes for Uncle Sam. Damn, that shit wasn't in the plan, but that's just how life go. Reality stop for the show, now paying bills all we know. Focused on money and ladies, RIP to the last go down to the 90s, babies. Please don't play when you know we crazy. Last generation that grew up outside, we misunderstood in all y'all's eyes. We might be just a tad bit impatient, but don't worry about us, no, we'll make it. We're 90s, babies. No, we're not lazy. We love, we love. And the reasons may be because we're 90s babies, yeah, we're 90s babies, yeah, we're 90s babies, this goes out to the 90s babies, this goes out to the 90s babies. Visit atlantanx.ibnxradio.com for the latest in community news, sports, and local entertainment. Get your business and event listed in our online directory. Advertising opportunities and more are available at atlantanx.ibnxradio.com. Visit us today. IBNX.
What's up? It's your girl Tony Dominique. And uh Duke is on break. Y'all know how he do sometimes. He, he take a minute or two or three or ten. I don't know. <clears throat> but um I'm sure he'll pop up, you know what I'm saying? Like the like something y'all probably don't want to pop up. I'm just joking. No, Duke will be here later. Um he might be in the bathroom. I, I really don't know what Duke is doing. Joking, y'all, joking, joking, joking. But anyway, we have the next guest and the whole crew up in the building. <laughs> Shout out to the crew. <laughs> Shout out to people who bring crews. I need a crew. I need an entourage. So if anybody what? wanna be in my entourage, the Tony Dominique team, what? stand up, send me a DM. Cause I, I need a, I need an entourage, y'all. <laughs> I can't just be out here in these streets by myself. Oh, but uh, <laughs> we got <laughs> we got Michelle in the building. She is the author of Life, Love, and Lockup. She had an amazing event this Saturday. Shout out to um the marvelous marissa she is our um on our sunday show the rock um that's not the name of her show but that's the name of the station that it plays on so if y'all you know have a little moment and y'all want to do it god tune in <laughs> on um sundays because that's when she's rocking and vibing playing that good christian like stuff that we don't really play on the lit network sorry y'all. <laughs> but um uh, <laughs> how are you doing today i'm blessed um overwhelmed um excited um everything you know uh the book dropped saturday uh, when uh, the event was going on okay. and um the first day we became a number one bestseller in two categories okay so the book is number one it's one of the best sellers um and again it's in two categories okay and who did you bring with you? Because I know I was talking about an entourage. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't had no dude. We need to be entourages. We out here by ourselves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know we ain't really operating on maximum right now. We ain't an ideal. We gonna get an entourage. We wait. We wait. I don't have an entourage. You got the, a crew. A no, these she, are, she got two people in the back watching the door, making sure real. that you know what I'm saying. She, she got, got somebody in the <laughs> car, keeping the car, cause she want that temperature just right when uh, she get in there. Well, actually, these are, you know, there are 10 co-authors in the book. Okay. So these uh, are two of the co-authors. The people that's watching the door, we have to have security. I mean, we are number one. We have a <laughs> we number one security. book Absolutely. in two categories. <laughs> we know they're trying to get at us. So we got Jesus. We got big security. I'm just playing. Okay. <laughs> no, nah, nah, no, she's not playing. No, nah, Jesus don't just take the wheel. He's the security. Yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm not playing about God. We he got, got him Jesus real. got a chauffeur license and he got a security shirt. So you Absolutely. better go. Hold on. Um, so what, what inspired you guys to make the book, to put this together and, and uh, write this book? Well, first, pause. Can we introduce? I'm sorry. I thought you already did that. When I took well, my restroom break, I thought that's that already was taken care of. Well, so we introduced her. She talked about what, and then I said, who did you have with you? Okay. And she said, they authors. Well, I mean, okay, we got to have their names on the show. You're right. Pause. Pineapple. <laughs> All right. Hi, my name is Shelby Frazier. I'm one of the co-authors of Life, Love, and Lockup. And basically what my story tells about, um, basically my chapter is um, she's finally here. So it talks about basically me struggling through trying to find myself. And I finally find myself through actually figuring out who I am. And you should let them buy the book. Yes. Here it is. Y'all better that show. Book. They came three like Here a, it is. Like a, like a, Life, love, a and novel love. choir. Yes. <laughs> you see? Let them see that there. Y'all see that. I'll get y'all some of that. Y'all yes. see that. Yes. It's on all major platforms. Oh Amazon. Everywhere. Also, it's on Mimi's website as well. This is mine, right? <laughs> I mean, you can buy one if, if you, you gonna buy it. <laughs> if it ain't about I the money. Was, I thought that was my donation copy. Well, <laughs> what you really can do is go on... Um, no Amazon no games about their coin. and the ebook is um, ninety nine cents. Um, I was going Get to it just let Kindle. it be for how, one how day, much, but how much is this? One? Mm. How much is the hardback paperback? You know, listen, I'm the author. That's her, that's that's her book. You asked twenty five. It's twenty five. Yes, it is. Okay. 
She said, everybody selling it for different price. <laughs> Y'all slinging this book like dope out here. I'm telling you, they want it. So she I, put I, her cut on it. She's like, I actually, if you look at the back, I slid two extra pages, too. You they know? want to leave that out. I, I said, look, that. if you go on her corner, yeah. it's a different price. You go on my Same corner. Book. You get a free bottle of water with mine. You oh, there we go. Hey. There we go, hey. man. Hey. I'm going to dance at your wedding <laughs> and your funeral. You let me know. What's going on? Hey. Oh, I love it. go with the book. Right. 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 <laughs> and what's your name? My name is Amina Kirk. She over here trying to get her social media together. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look at me, kid. <laughs> My name is Amina Kirk Thornton. I am uh, one of the co-authors on Chapter 6. And um, my title is Seated in My Anointing. I am a, um, well, I'm a lot of things. I'm an actress, <laughs> she a had to think about it. She I'm was like, what do I want them to really know about veteran. me? I'm a um, wife of 20 years, a mother. I'm a lot of That's people. awesome right there. Yeah. Yeah. Wife That's of a, 20 a, years. A wife of 20 years. Yeah. How do you get 20 years with the same person? How do you do that? Um, I was in the military, and my husband was in the military. Okay. And I think a lot Baby of it people. had to I do with, a lot mm -hmm. of it had to do with um, me understanding his struggles and him understanding mine. I, did we not just talk about <laughs> this earlier? But God, they ain't nothing but a word. God Jesus God. Christ! Yes. What the F? Listen. What the F? <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Jesus Christ let me ask you this. F. Absolutely. As a woman now, mm -hmm. you know, uh, seem like you're pretty seasoned, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 42. What is, what is seasoned? 42. Now that's, it just means you've been around. It's a very appropriate word to say that you're a lot a lot older than someone younger. Right. Not to say that you're In old. a mature stage. Yeah. You're in your mature stage of life. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think the young women and the young men today are doing wrong by not allowing us to have a flourishing relationship with commitment for like 20, 15, 10 plus years? I think a, a one of the main places people go wrong with is huge weddings. Okay. You don't have a house. Keep it on 5,000. You don't 5, have 000. a car. You don't have anything. You ain't got nothing. And you going out there splurging. Foundation real So week. you could look like Cinderella. Well, you're not Cinderella. Mm -hmm. So keep it real. Okay. Go back in 20 years like me and have a Cinderella wedding. Okay. When oh, so y'all had like a, a wedding when, after you got all your, your stuff in order. We still haven't had it. We're going to have one in, in next October. Oh. 20 years and you say I'm building this good solid foundation but, but, to see if so, I'm But I have my house and I have my cars and I have my stable family. I have all of those things. I have my career. So, so I, now it's time I'm for the fairy tale. I'm not going to be broke. I'm not going to be looking around arguing about money because we don't have those things. So you, you think that people just go, okay. not just with the wedding, but just overall, you think people just go a little bit over and, a, and above for no reason? At a, at a time that is just really not called for in their lives, and that, that's some of the reason why we really can't have the yeah. long-term commitment. Yeah, because what does society tell us? Society tells us to have the car and have be grand. The that's what society right. says. Exactly. It, it, go big or go, go home. Go big or go home. Yeah, right. go big or go yeah. home. It's, right. You know, if it ain't grand, it's like right. it's, it's so much. You know, minimize. You gotta live. You gotta right. live. You right. And in order to live, you know, you have to have have a plan. But you know what? Mm -hmm. What you're saying is true because. I see here you have a nice ring. <laughs> you know what I'm nice ring. If you like it, then you should. But the thing is, the thing is, I've seen where women put a ring that what maybe wasn't as big, didn't gloss as hard, and they was happy. But you, you read the comments, man. People ain't shit. Mm -hmm. And they were like, yep. "Oh, girl, you, you, I leave him. You get me something like that." Oh, girl. The and then here come the fellas, man. Oh, no. I got a I question. If did, you my woman, did you start I, you know. with that yeah. ring? Absolutely. This is you, the third one. You grow into the ring. They, Okay. You need to write the book about that. <laughs> Not to knock the, this book, but you need to write a whole other chapter. And it's going to be one. called Grow Into the Ring. Grow. Yes. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, touch pause with me. Give me some of that energy. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh, you feel that anointed spirit in here? Uh, all I want is my little back credit. My little back credit. That's all. You're going to get it, too. Now, let me ask you this. Grow if you was to write a book ring. like that, would you then do and incorporate your ladies into it to, you know, maybe women who are, are not particularly married? married or no. I have been married. Okay. And that's why I that's came a part. That's a part. Book. Married and not married. That's, that's, that's a journey. Married. Yeah, I have been married. Soon it's to my be married. choice. Yeah. And do you know, I have be been married. married. Yeah. I do. It's my choice. But I'm not right now. To, okay. That's a, that's a journey. Yeah. Okay. It is my choice not to go back. You don't want to be married again. I will be married again. Not okay. to the first husband. Oh, okay, oh. so you, you will do marriage. You're just not dealing with, with that. With somebody individual. else. Yeah, a, I was a raised that way. I don't just date people. You get oh. so you got you come back. She like Wendy. I got married when I was twenty one. But that's what Muslims do. They don't just date you. They like you. Next day you know 
You that's, pregnant. That's what Wendy Williams married. said. Wendy Williams <laughs> said she is not dating nobody. She ain't nobody's girlfriend. She's a wife. Yeah. yeah there we go. But, yeah. Okay, so don't you have to go to girlfriend to courtship to become a wife? Well, this so is explain me. Explain that to me. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I keep it real. So with me, it's kind of like... Um, if we have sex, then we go together, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 You asked me yeah. to keep it real. I just, I just gonna let him be the half a minute. But I just thought I'd tell you the you truth. Got, you <laughs> got boy All right, you right, right. right. Yes. I don't do no. that. I, I don't do that. Ain't no other do it, do it. Okay. No, I'm from, from Miami, my. and I keep it one thousand. And yeah. you know, no. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? I say that. I say if I give you gas money, you we go together to the gas run up. Okay, you right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like my thing is I'm not into just giving. You know? I'm not just going to just give it. But I'm also anti-taking care of you or supporting you. Right. You know what I mean? Like I told one dude. He was like, yo, we going to go to the strip club. And I was like, why? He was like, man, they got the women. And I was like, well, I got women. He was like, well, you ain't got women like that. I was like, those women ain't nothing like the women I got. I would prefer to give a woman. I come over and we kick it. We do our dope thing. If I'm going to leave the money on the dresser, leave it for her. But Let her strip. Be, well, no, no. What I'm saying is, I know this money gonna go to that Comcast bill. Right. Yeah. That's it's gonna what go I'm in them talking groceries. about. It's gonna go in them Capri Suns package. I just drew, I just drank three of them. Right. Because mm-hmm. I don't know if y'all heard early, but I drank after we done. I'm drinking kid snacks. <laughs> I'm eating Dude, the kid snacks. Pause. 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 All right, y'all. So um. I'm going to just ask y'all some questions, let y'all know, let y'all actually get y'all interview, because Duke will take y'all whole interview. We got to oh, okay, put them on pause, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. The show ended at 11. We, we, we got to close. We've been at 1.30, playing space. <laughs> and at 11. All right, so first, <laughs> first question <laughs> is, who came up with the title? I did. This is my vision. God gave it to me. I, um, I am the author. I went and got my friends, and I also let God uh, strategically put some of them in my life. So um, I was going through each one of these titles. Um, and I saw that some of my friends were going through it as well. A lot of times people don't have a platform, and I'm glad that you asked that tonight. A lot of people, a lot of times people don't have a platform, or there's ways they, they, they can't get onto other people's platform. God bless me. I'm an actress, a known one. I do movies. I do plays. Um, you know, really. And um, <laughs> I'm a big-time entrepreneur. So I have friends that do the same thing. And I'm just the type like this. I'm bossed all the way up, been like that. Okay, so well instead said. of me, you know, getting everybody else rich, I say, let's do this. So I went and got them. Because a lot of them are hurt. A lot of them are locked up, don't even realize that they were locked up. And they're living in a world of pain. And the whole world. Now, when you say locked up, you yeah. don't mean you mean figure, locked fi- up. figuratively locked up, like a lot of them are locked up like mentally, that. physically, some spiritually, some have already been locked up. Okay. Myself hit she all three that, categories. She said that it covers it all. Encompasses all levels of locked up. Covers it all. Got you. You've been locked up too. Mm-hmm. You did some jail time. Oh, you a thug on the tip. Oh my God. <laughs> See yo! I, was I need another one. cover, so, cup. Um, do you have a chapter in the book or do you have different parts where you segue in and segue out? I have different parts. Okay. Because for me, I, I did another book where I was the co author of Women on the Rise All Access. Um, and I put a story in there and I throughout the book I would tell everybody where to be looking for me next. And I I gave them this, life, love, and lock up. And then, boom, I hit them with it. And um, people that know me from back home and college and everything, they know all that I've been through. So um, it's no no surprise. Where's back home, by the way? I'm from Miami. Okay. Dade County. We just had Miami in here. M.I.A., take it to the house. All right. And what is your Mm. chapter? Shelby, right? Uh Uh-huh. Hey, um, I'm remembering. <laughs> Shelby, <laughs> all right. Yes, um, it's uh, she's finally here. Okay. Um, and you did say it was about finding yourself. What did yes. that mean to you? Um, because I was in depression after my father died. Um, I just had to basically get up and just realize I have a purpose in this life. Um, my aunt kept telling me, like, look, Shelby, like, stop laying here, stop sleeping, stop not doing nothing. But then God had really gotten to my ear and was like, Shelby, you got to listen. So I got up, and I had to press on forward. And then that's when I had the opportunity of meeting Michelle Lovett right here, (laughs) my sister. (laughs) Seriously, my big sister. And the crazy part of how I met Shelby, Mm -hmm. my mom passed in 09 unexpectedly. She came here to Atlanta. 
the nature of my brother. So I'm not, I don't have a secret because I tell everybody my life is open. So I used to just party like a rock star. And she worked at Real Lobster, and they know how I get down. And the, the manager was like, you know what, Michelle, you come a long ways. I want you to meet somebody. She brought Shelby to me. Shelby told me her story, and I said, mm, I've been there. I laid down for a long time, a long, long time. Because if, until you lose a, a mother or a father, nobody knows how it feels. So, you know, for me to be a, get on prescription drugs and all of that, I did all that. But God, and he brought me through. So, again, I, like I told you, there are so many people that they hide it. But you got to try to get a hold of people before it gets too late. Because certainly the sun is going down. Mental illness, depression, and all of that, it is real. How, how do you, how do, how do you, what we was talking about earlier, somebody saying they go through stuff and they kind of go reserved. How do you identify if this somebody just having a reserved moment or somebody's actually getting in a depressed, sunken place? Well, I can't really say I can differentiate between the two. For me, is I identify things based on what I was going through. So, like, if it I can see like something I was doing. Yeah, yeah. and I, I, I'm seeing this person and, and how she just seemed to be. It was an empty space. Right, right. Because I could walk around all day long like I got it going on, but on the inside I'm hurt real bad. Right. There's mm-hmm. something that's gonna trigger you to make you see that that person is going through the same thing. Okay. And how did you meet Amina? Amina. <laughs> Amina's my sorrow. And um, what, what, what sorrow are you in? I am a Delta. Okay. I, I felt not? the Delta vibe. And, I was like, and Delta. Was Delta, that's a... Uh, oh, okay. That's Delta? Oh. oh. oh, oh no. you, ain't, you ain't supposed to do that? <laughs> right. Delta? You ain't okay. supposed to... You're you not in the presence of oh, the greatness. You ain't supposed to do their symbols and stuff. That's supposed you to be sacred to them. Oh, shit. I thought that... Okay. It, it could be the rock. I, I could be a rapper. <laughs> But she she was in a non Greek uh, sorority with me, oh, Emerald okay. Queen. So um, at Payne College, and actually if I pledged her line, and Amina's just a great person. And it took us twenty years later that we met up. Her mom had passed. My mom had passed. Okay, so tell us something that you really want the readers to know about the book and what it means to you. Everybody, give me like two minutes. Start with Amina. Okay, start with Amina. Two. A minute and a half, really. Okay, something <laughs> I want you to know about the book. The book is a real breath of fresh air, I believe. Um, it touches on things that are not being talked about. Uh, me personally, I spent a lot of time in church, growing up in church. Uh, I'm a missionary. I go all over the world. And a lot of things that you're told to pray about, where is yeah, we can pray about it, but God also says, watch as well as pray. He also says to to do put in work. Uh-huh. You have to put in work. work. And <laughs> and and so uh, we need tools to put in the work. And this book is a great tool for putting in the work and seeing how women who are great and who have great um, aspirations have fallen down and gotten back up, or either they have. Um, not necessarily falling down, but they were able to overcome whatever the situation was that they went through. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. She said she better put some God into it. Yeah. <laughs> I like better that. put it on. Um, it's a guideline. Just a guideline for you to really follow. You know what goes on in people's lives that's going to go on in your life mm-hmm. or anybody else's life. It just shows something real. It's just a piece of us that's real, you know? Yeah. And then from there, you could really heal yourself. Just really heal yourself by this book. This book is awesome. You will cry. You will laugh. You will find something new every time. (laughs) Every time. Okay. And what you going to (laughs) say? She look like, she's like, is it my turn? My son, she got that, is it my turn face? Uh, (laughs) Boy. No. Honestly, listen, I just want people to learn to identify their struggles, their issues. Don't You don't have to hide. There's someone out there that has went through the same thing, and then there's someone in place that can talk to you about it. See, it's not how you fall, but rather how you get up. I am a living testimony about it. So I just want people to read the book, 
look at some of the stories, some of the people that's in the book. I think people are like would be shocked to know some of their stories, but it also will tell you or explain the kind of character you get out of these people, why or how that was even developed. So, also, Life, Love, and Lockup is a series. So now, um, actually, on the male version, and it's also a docu series. So we did the preview Saturday. Let everybody see the documentary. The documentary is awesome. Um, and I just tell everybody to look forward to great, great things when it comes to life, love, and lockup. Okay. While well, we got you um, already, we're going to go backwards around. <laughs> Let everybody know um, <laughs> where to follow you on social media. You already told them that we got a documentary coming on. We got book two for the men's is out there. So don't be feeling like y'all left out. We know men be feeling left out. They be feeling women run the world. Yeah. All right, before you we get to that, I want to ask you a question. Yes. Because I, I just love what women are doing right yes. now. Um, <laughs> what is it that we can do as men? to have that type of unified, you know, front like women have nowadays. You know what I'm saying? As I see it, you know, we talk to young ladies with all uh, women on Rise Access, you know, a few other little pockets of women. They just work together, you know, cohesively. And I don't see a lot of men doing that, you know what I'm saying? In well, all. that's why I'm bringing it back. Um, hopefully, I, I can't say it's me It's because I'm being led by the Spirit of God. I'm serious. I don't, I, I don't go to church because I believe, you know, my ministry is out here. So... Um, I believe that we got work to do, just like the subtitle says. So um, that's my mission. I'm going to get with the guys the same way I got with the women. Don't let them fool you. I'm part of Women on the Rise All Access. All I can tell you is this. Even the ladies here, don't let anybody fool you. It's hard work. So it's not like, oh, we're just getting along. Hey, yeah, we're in the forefront. Nah, you got work to do. So you got to put in the work. You got to identify each person's strength and weakness. And then bring it together. It doesn't happen overnight. But, see, writing just helped the healing process. Got you. Got you. Well, that's good. I, I definitely appreciate that. Let them know where they can find you at, you and you as well, <laughs> on social media, starting with you. Um, Facebook, you can find me at Shelby Frazier, S-H-E-L-B-Y-F-R-A-S-I-E-R. Instagram, actress underscore Shelby Lynn. Okay. You can find me at Mimi all over on Instagram and Mimi all over two on Instagram, Life Love and Lock Up on Instagram, Michelle Levin on Facebook, www.lifeloveandlockup.com. Get your ebook today. It's only 99 cents on Amazon.com. And the book for me is $20. And catch me in the street and when I'm doing a book signing real soon may be different. Um, thank everybody for making our book number one in two categories. All right. Well, we can follow you. I am can be found on uh, Instagram at author Amina. Also on Facebook at author Amina Thornton, and my website www.royalposhdesigns.com. Okay, y'all. Yeah. Right, I like how she like real chill, real yeah, cool, yeah. real, real vibing. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Take day. <laughs> Once again, yeah. thank you everybody for tuning in. We really appreciate you. Everybody who's been with us from day one, day two, day three, day four, and forward. Those who have been rocking with us for a year in and beyond, we are going to the moon and back. Shout out to all our guests for coming in. Always remember today, tomorrow, and always stay living in today's time because <laughs> we're lit. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's lit, it's lit, and like it ain't lit. Yeah, T T L I T T, and like it ain't lit. Yeah, it's lit, it's lit, it's lit. Yeah, and like it ain't lit. L I T T L I T T, and like it ain't lit. Yeah, we 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 lit.